a week ago, if you told me I'd be playing matchmaker for Valeska Carter with the fictional storybook man of her dreams, I would have had to buy you a drink. Two drinks even, for all the crazy things I've seen in the library these past few days. Let me explain. The Golden Tree Adventuring Guild got back from our travels outside the walls of Agmar a few short days ago. We took a much needed breather, settled down from all the excitement, and made our report to the Red Guard. If you remember the Undead Legion of Agmar, the Bones have been in a bit of trouble lately. A few of their members were untethered and went berserk after being attacked in the wilds of Rixia, and we were tasked with fixing them. The problem is, we need magic for this. Strong magic. We tracked down the famed sorceress Lorana Moonglove, who told us she'd be able to retether the bones. But to do this, she needed information found only in an ancient tome called the Liber Morte, which was held, you guessed it, in the restricted section of the Agmar Library. The same place that was sealed up decades ago for being too dangerous, and where no one has set foot in since then. Along with the Liber Morte, she wanted four other books, but we'll get into that. With the help of Trankar, Azan, Paulus Calveta, and Granik, all of our favorite mage friends, we entered the restricted section prepared to encounter any foe. What we found was, well, nothing. Literally nothing, just an empty void. Except for the lone librarian spirit who was trapped there when the doors to this section were first shut. His name is Titanius, and in exchange for getting him out, he would help us navigate this part of the library and find the books. We started with the Liber Morte and took an elevator down to the depths where the most dangerous books are stored. It sounded like a zoo. Magical books of all kinds were locked behind their cage desperate to escape. We found the Liber Morte after some trial and error, and to our surprise, it was waiting for us. We spoke with it for a while, the whole time the edges of our sanity slowly eroding from the oppressive noise and the pressure the longer we stayed down there. You see, we needed to get this book out, but it didn't need us. It challenged us to take it from this place if only we were worthy. Valeska was the one who finally convinced it to come with us. She shared her need for knowledge with it, and in doing so, formed a pact. We made it out from the depths because of her, but who knows what that book could do to her before we hand it to Lorana. We found three other books without too much trouble, but I'd say look at the official records if you want to learn more about it. I'll just say, I never want to play on a game show ever again, and I'll leave it at that. The last book was by far the weirdest. We stepped into a romance novel set in the Rixian Regency Age. To get the book, we played storybook versions of ourselves with the goal of matching Valeska up with Quincy Feathertop, the most eligible bachelor at the Emerald Gala. Normally, it would have taken weeks and months of careful social climbing and ingenuity to get close to the powerful Feathertop family. But we're adventurers, and what defined an adventurer more than finding clever shortcuts to take? I have to give credit where credit's due. Checkers made a pretty good matriarch for our little family. <laughs> With their clever conniving and breaking and entering skills, we got Valeska and Quincy together at the perfect moment to profess their love and against all odds it worked. Quincy's aunt didn't take too kindly to us sweeping her nephew off her feet but we made a mad dash to the exit and stumbled out of the restricted section. All five books and Titanius in tow. Things have been quiet since then. We summoned Lorana and gave her what she needed. 
and she gave us a magical hammer to fix the bones in return. We also attended a ceremony for the fortunate's passing. May their spirit find rest. To top it all off, Checkers finally gets to meet the consequences of his actions. Yep, he got arrested. So we'll see how that goes. Till next time, Tasker and Brightmane.